How do you get away with murder? This is how. This rather attractive young woman is Kelsey O'Hara. I say attractive, but give her a miss, guys. Give her a big miss. You'll soon understand why. I'm reading from the ITV.com website, April the 4th, 2022. Title Young woman who knocked man out on night out in Bridlington cleared of causing his death. A young woman who knocked a man unconscious during a confrontation on a night out has been cleared of causing his death. <laughs> Kelsey O'Hara, that's her pictured, then aged 19, attacked Andrew Turner, 58, after he refused to apologise for bumping into her friend in Bridlington on August 28th last year. Whole Crown Court heard Mr Turner fell to the ground, hitting his head, and died six days later on September 3rd. Humberside Police launched a murder investigation. But the court heard that two medical experts concluded O'Hara was not responsible for his death. <laughs> Andrew Espley, prosecuting, said the incident happened after Mr Turner went out for drinks in Bridlington with a friend. Mr Turner's friend knew one of O'Hara's friends and he apologised to her for an incident a couple of weeks earlier. But at around 1.30am O'Hara confronted Mr Turner in Marlborough Terrace and asked him if he would apologise to one of her friends after accidentally walking into her. He refused to call her. Mr Epsley said O'Hara threw her purse onto the floor and launched herself at Mr Turner, punching him in the face once and causing him to lose consciousness when he fell to the floor, hitting his head in the process when he fell. Mr Turner of Brisington suffered a cut to the back of his head but refused to go to hospital and his injuries were not initially believed to be life-threatening. O'Hara was arrested the next day. She made no comment during a police interview. Mr Epsley said Mr Turner did not die until September 3rd, so she would not have been asked about causing his death. The punch seems to have been impulsive and spontaneous, and it was one punch. <laughs> Only one punch! There was no evidence that the death of Mr Turner had anything to do with O'Hara, and this had been confirmed after investigations by pathologist and a neuropathologist the court heard. I could go on, but... Uh, well, it finishes, there is evidence from two experts, a pathologist and a neuropathologist, who conclude that your actions did not contribute to his death. O'Hara was given a suspended six-month prison sentence, a six-month curfew and 20 days of rehabilitation. That's how you get away with murder. If you want to find out how other women get away with murder, check out the International Force Rape Timeline. Check out my articles on... Emma Humphreys, Sally Challen, Fariesia Martin, and one who didn't quite get away with murder, that's Emma Jane Magson. But it really is a racket. The denial of female evil, the denial of female culpability. And only a misogynist would disagree. <laughs>